Asawa ni John Estrada na si Priscilla nag-celebrate ng kanyang 39th birthday kasama ang dalawang anak ni John kay Janice de Belen na si Nakayla at Ina. Malapit nga sila kay Priscilla kaya naman sa special na kaarawan niya, present at bumisita ang magkapatid. Naging masaya naman si Priscilla na kahit marami siyang pinagdadaanan, marami ang nagmamahal sa kanya. Sabi niya sa kanyang caption, Lord, thank you for the gift of life. Thanks also to all of you for all the birthday greetings and I truly feel blessed. Priscilla. Ganito ituring ni John ang kanyang asawa. Napaka-special at hindi makakalimutan ang mga selebrasyon. Si Priscilla naman nagbahagi ng kanyang health issues nitong nakaraang pandemic. Siya nga raw ay na-diagnose na may endometriosis kung saan ay walang cure ang sakit na ito. Pero patuloy pa rin lumalaban para sa kanyang mag-ama. Narito ang kanyang sinabi sa kanyang nakaraang live. For those who don't know, I'm actually based in Cavite. My whole family is based in Cavite after the pandemic. And whenever... Hi guys! Okay, there's a lot of people join. And whenever I need to go to Metro Manila, of course, it a lot of traffic. So, I, I'm a housewife now. <laughs> so, we don't have a cook. And I need to prepare... Uh, you know, dinner for my husband. Boa noite, Kel! Oh yeah, we have some Brazilians also here. I've experienced a lot of things. We've been through a lot, right? Like, oh, for Japan. So we've been through a lot. Um, during the pandemic, we, we end up like uh, isolating for the safety of everyone. And then a lot of people went through a lot of health issues. COVID, you know, was the main focus of everyone. Everybody was scared of COVID, right? But COVID is not the only <laughs> disease or problem that affects our health. So me particularly, after I gave birth, I did come up with some issues. Um, my birth, uh, it was not a normal birth. Uh, I, I went through a CS, I'm down very much, a lot, you know. And then I had a hard time losing the weight, but I did lose the weight. Uh, thanks to you know to some slimming clinics I was endorsing during the time some other treatments I did of course dieting it was a huge sacrifice but I was able to back to my almost my original weight and then I started to suffer you know totally honestly my whole life I always had very bad dysmenorrhea and I always thought that was normal and at a certain point it seemed to be normal because my dysmenorrhea would only happen during the during my period time but then, after my daughter was three or four years old, I noticed that my dysmenorrhea, my colics, you know, my abdominal pain, even after my period, it was still there. And the severity of the, 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 the dysmenorrhea was really bad. And I, the kind of person that have a very high tolerance for pain, as in super. When I was delivering my baby, my contractions are over 100 plus, because I did try to have a lot naturally, but unfortunately it was not possible. I did do a conservative induction 
to try to have it naturally, but it was not possible. Hi guys! So it's hi to everyone that coming in. And then, um, but it didn't happen. So I didn't feel a thing. <laughs> you know, my belly would jump like crazy. I didn't feel a thing. And the doctor said, wow, you cannot feel that? I said, no, I don't. So in short, I have a very high tolerance for pain. But then, the pain during my period, and even after my period, was like something that I couldn't function. I could not do anything. I could not even stand from bed. And moving around and doing the regular everyday things was like a huge effort. And of course my mood, you know, imagine someone, uh, you know, constant pain, having to work, having to function like a regular person. But nobody understand, I didn't understand. So I just keep in drinking medication for it. Yes. I was right. <laughs> it was, I am, I have endometriosis, but the treatment is not simple. It's actually a condition that has no cure. And it's very hard for women that suffer from it because the pain, sometimes the pain is not, you know, is not that bad depending on the location. But in my case, it's located, most likely that's what the doctor said, told me, around my CS scar and uh, in my abdominal muscles, in my actually, you know, uh, you know, rectus muscles in the abdomen area, like near the inguinal area. And it's very painful when I move. So coming from someone, oh, from Austria, someone's, oh, hello, hello, Anya, from Austria. So coming from someone that was always, her whole life, very active, you know, um, high school, even grade school, adult, adulthood. I've always played all kinds of sports. I used to play basketball with the boys. And when I joined my, you know, my beauty pageant, they revealed din ni Priscilla na siya full-time housewife niyon kung saan wala silang cook kaya siya ang nagluluto ng umaga, tanghalihan at gabihan ng kanyang mag-ama. Palagi raw or siyang on time kung magluto tuwing uuwi ang mag-ama galing sa trabaho at eskwelahan ay nakahanda na ang mga ito. Ganito kaasikaso bilang nanay at asawa si Priscilla. 